the mystery novel, Friend of the Devil, opens on a dark, rainy night in Puget Sound, Washington, where two men attempting to solve a kidnapping are being held at gunpoint near the side of a cliff. The one narrating the story is ESPN's Dave Pask. The other one, who's singing a Grateful Dead song, is his on-air partner, and he a great Bill Walton. How did a fictional version of the Pac-12 college basketball announcers end up as lead characters of the first novel in a series called, The Bill Walton Mysteries, and why is the book sprinkled with Motor City-inspired nods to a Chrysler 300? Joe Kelly, a creator, writer and executive producer of Detroiters, has an explanation that sounds a lot like, well, a wacky episode from the former Comedy Central series. Cover of Friend of the Devil, the first of the Bill Walton Mysteries novels, photo, Meat House Publishing, Kelly and a friend, actor, writer James Kirkland, both fans of hard-boiled crime novels like the Jack Reacher series, were helping each other out with writing projects when they got a brainstorm of an idea, we were about three beers into a Lakers game when he leaned over to me and said, what about the Bill Walton Mysteries, I was like, yes, says Kelly, whose writing credits include, Saturday Night Live, and, How I Met Your Mother, literally within 10 seconds, we knew exactly what the book would be, we knew it would be narrated by Dave Pask, like Dr. Watson does the Sherlock Holmes books, and that Bill Walton, like Sherlock Holmes, would be a larger-than-life figure, written by Kirkland, edited and published by Kelly and available through Amazon, Friend of the Devil, envisions Pask as a put-upon sidekick to the eccentric Walton, whose basketball moves and towering height come in handy here during some epic fight scenes, according to the book jacket, it's a hilariously sincere psychedelic mystery. In real life, Pask and Walton are known as the odd couple of sports TV partners. In a 2018 article, USA Today said Pask usually has no idea what Walton will say or do on the earth that, as you can imagine, can be tough for this great man in the pairing. Will Walton go off on one of his quirky tangents about art, music or nature, volcanoes, perhaps? Will he deliver a gift to his partner? Will Bill play a tune on a school band member's glockenspiel during a late blowout? Pask worked in Detroit from 1995 to 1997 for WDFNAM as a sports anchor, talk show host and play-by-play -play commentator for the now-defunct Detroit Vipers of the International Hockey League. By photo the cast of the Comedy Central pilot, The Detroiters, from the left Joe Kelly, Sam Richardson, Tim Robinson, executive producer Jason Sudeikis, and Zach Cannon stand in front of the historic Detroit Club in downtown Detroit, where they film a scene on Friday, June 12, 2015. Richardson and Robinson are real-life, former Detroiters. Photo, Kimberly P. Mitchell, Detroit, Free Press, Kelly, too, has Detroit credentials. Along with stars Sam Richardson and Tim Robinson and SNL writer Zach Cannon, he co-created Detroiters, the critical hit series set and filmed in Detroit about small-time advertising guys Sam Duvet and Tim Cramblin. Despite earning praise for its offbeat humor and lovable portrait of male friendship, Detroiters was cancelled in December 2018 after two seasons by Comedy Central. Kelly says that there have been talks with a few online streaming sites about bringing back the show, but hopes for a revival are diminished at this point. Still, his fondness for the city remains strong. He works Detroit homages into Friend of the Devil, most notably via the rental Chrysler 300 that the past character drives in the book. Kelly says he experienced immediate brand loyalty when he rented the same car during the filming of Detroiters. Going from a Prius to a Chrysler 300 was one of my favorite experiences of my life, he says. The muscle was so fun. Coming back to LA with traffic and a Prius was really depressing for many, many reasons. Chrysler also played a role in the Detroiters storyline. The character played by Jason Sudeikis was a Chrysler vice president of marketing who, thanks to Sam and Tim, was hit by a car in the season, one finale and left for dead with a better made potato chip bag over his head. They were very, very supportive and very cool, says Kelly of the automaker. We dealt with other companies who had many more opinions on what we could and couldn't do on camera. 
Chrysler was just always, whatever you want to do, do it. February 7, 2019, Pac-12 basketball analysts Bill Walton, left, and Dave Pask, right, hold up drawings for the camera as the Arizona Wildcats play the Washington Huskies during the first half at McHale Center. Photo, Casey Sapio, USA Today Sports, speaking of being supportive, Kelly hopes Walton and Pask will be okay with the mystery novel, which was done without their prior approval, we sent Bill the book. My manager went to UCLA, Walton's alma mater, and has mutual friends, so we are anxiously awaiting to find out if we have his blessing or his involvement. That sentiment is echoed in the book's dedication to Walton and Pask, which goes, We hope you enjoy this extremely fictional account of things you never said or did. Kelly says he has another book series in mind. This one would be inspired by the Detroit Pistons from the bad boy era of the 80s and 90s and have modern-day versions of the players as crime fighters in the Motor City. The title would be, The Motor City Good Boys, says Kelly, the comedy writer turned publisher, We're business idiots, but I think we're creative geniuses, more, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Save Detroiters, the show that that America needs, contact Detroit Free Press pop culture critic Julie Hines, 313-222-6427 or jhines at freepress.com. Read or share this story, https colon slash slash www.freep.com slash story slash entertainment slash television slash 2019 slash 03 slash 14 slash bill dash walton dash mysteries dash novel dash creator dash detroiters dash tv dash comedy slash 315408 slash